Hello everyone. Welcome to UI Path Tutorials. In this session, we are going to learn about the get table range activity. Let me start with the scenario. I am having a sheet with the name of studentmask.excel file. And you can see in sheet one, I am having two tables which we have been created. These tables have been created by manually by using insert and table. Now, let us assume I want to know the table range from which cell to which cell it has been created. How can I know the range of this table one or table two? How can I go ahead and find the range of the given tables in the Excel of this sheet one? Now, if you see manually, how can I go ahead and do that? If you see, I'm going to design and you can see there are the whenever I'm going to select the table, I can get the name of the table name that is marks. If you see this table is marks. And if you see, I'm going to select another table that is details related, right? Now, if you see manually from A3 to H13 is the table. And after that, for another table that is details, you can see from A16 to that is C26, that we can see the ranges of each and every table. Now, how can I go ahead and get the table range which we have given in the sheets? How can I go ahead and get the table by using UiPath Studio? Let me switch to UiPath Studio. Let me go to the project. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new sequence, add sequence. I'm going to name it as get table range activity. Click on create. Now let me go to activities. Now where you will find this get table range? You will find this get table range activity in app integration. Under app integration, you will find Excel. Under Excel, you will find table. In table, you will find get table range. If you mouse over on that, it will say retrieves the Excel range of a table from a spreadsheet. That the mean is that this activity can be used only to find the range of a table which we have been used to create a table. When we can get this table range, whenever you have created a table in Excel or when you have used create table activity in UiPath, then only you can go ahead and get the table range. Now I will show you how to get this table range which we have shown in the Excel. Now as the first step, let me drag and drop Excel application scope onto my panel. Let's browse for a file. I'm going to select student marks and then click on open. Now I'm going to select, I'm going to fetch get table range activity on do panel. Now, first of all, we'll see the properties of each and every activity, right? Now I'm going to check the properties of get table range activity. First of all, we'll see sheet name which sheet that we are having the table that which sheet that we have to let assume if you see I'm having multiple sheets over here sheet one and sheet two now I'm going to select only sheet one right so that by default already we are having sheet one so that I'm going to leave it as is now table name which table name you can see over here in my design that you can find marks as well as the details now what I'm going to do I'm going to copy the details and then the table name is nothing but details I'm going to specify. Now, the output range. Now we have given the input, right? Now what is the output range? So once we have selected, once we have given the sheet name or the table name, we'll get the range as an output. Where you can store in the variable by clicking on Control K, I will say output table range and then click on enter. Now let me go to the variables to check it out what kind of variable type that you got it for the output table variable. You can see this is in string format. Now let me go ahead to display this value somewhere I have to display it, right? I will display in the message box. Let me drag and drop this message box onto the panel. Now the output is already we are having output table range. I don't want to convert into the uh, string format because already the variable is in string format, correct? Now let me save the bot. 
now let me run the bot now you can see a16 to c26 is the which we have given the table right that the tab uh, created table name is the details so the table name that the range that we are having from a16 to c26 let's go ahead and check it out you can see a16 to c26 correct let's go ahead and click on ok now what i'm going to do i'm going to take one more example over here in the marks i'm just copying the marks and then i'm going to make the changes for the get table range i'm just want what the th changes that i'm going to make only the table name i'm going to modify it and then i'm going to save it let's run the bot again now if you see a32 h13 is the output for the uh, for the range it has been given while you are going to creating a table right this is how you are going to fetch the range of created table in the excel i hope you understand how to use get table range activity thank you for watching we have tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day